the problems that we see on a national scale, um, Whitman is not exempt from any of those issues. We're not merely witnesses to this kind of moral catastrophe. We're actors in it. We're complicit with it. Um, so as audience members and participants, one has to step in. One has to be moved by actually wanting to transform this world. It's my job as a white person to educate myself. Educate myself about the privilege, about the history, and about the oppression. Not just performative activism, but concrete measurable actions to support and to lift up the voices of those who are having their lives threatened um, and their humanity questioned. I think everybody who shares something, always I feel nervous. It leaves you in this kind of undone kind of condition or state, but also leaves you ready to continue to continue questioning. How to get outside of the Whitman bubble and how to engage in community, like the Walla Walla community. Every hand has to be applied to the effort of transformation, reconciliation, social justice, right? Around those conditions. What is the shared vision of the future? What is our shared struggle? It's to normalize call-out culture, but like, calling out being an act of love and an act of like, I care about you and I want you to be better. I, I no longer want to see the symposium as a starting point. I like the term calibration point a lot better. Freedom and justice is valuable for us and we are willing to commit ourselves to that project no matter the cost to ourselves. Nobody becomes an anti-racist scholar overnight just because you're committed to um, social justice. Just, just recognizing where you're at and what can you do about it to improve your understanding of the problem? Beyond the symposium, the temptation now is because this is virtual that we quickly turn from being in the symposium to being not in it. You guys are going to have to decide whether you want to be uh, active about the kind of information that you're exchanging during power and privilege or, uh, or if it just becomes another screen. And it seems to me we have to treat Whitman as a laboratory of democracy, a possibility of what the country can become. That if we can get it right here, maybe, maybe we might just have a hope.